for subscribing to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. If you are new to the channel, you're highly and very welcome. If you have not subscribed, please hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell also to get an update whenever I upload a new video. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew a bubble dress. So you can see it, it has layers. You can also call this a tear dress or a layer dress. So it depends on what you choose to call it. That's what we're going to be learning how to cut and sew today. So you can see the picture up there. You can make this dress into any number of layers that you want it to be. So it depends on you. So quickly, before we continue, I'm going to do a little bit of explanation how to how to measure it out. So if you want to register for our online classes, you can see my number scrolling through the screen. You can send me a message on WhatsApp and then I'll give you details of the classes that we have available. If you have not registered for Stylish Ninja online classes, you are really missing out a lot because here we really do like one-on-one. -on -one. You can... The truth of the matter is that I don't even want to talk too much. People that have registered before, they keep coming back and keep coming back. If it is not good, they will not come back. So that's just the way for you to check yourself if you are doing something right or you are doing wrong. Okay, so enough of that. Let's just continue. Okay, so I'll just explain. So if the, the length, the full length of the dress that I'm going to be making today is going to be 40 inches. So I just need to adjust my camera so you see it properly. Okay, so I'm going to explain. So like I said, we're doing the full length of my dress is 40 inches. That's the 40 inches. So the first layer is going to be from my shoulder to almost of my under bust. I'm going to make it 12 inches. You can, you can take your own measurement. And then the next layer that I'm going to make, this is the next layer. If you notice it, you see that in width, in height, it is, this is, a, just ignore this. So the next layer that I'm going to make, this one is going to be 15 inches. And then the last layer, which is the, like the third layer that I'm going to make, this is going to be 14 inches. That's the height is going to be 14 inches. This one is going to be 15 and then this one is going to 12. So when you sum all of them up, I'm going to have about 41 inches. So I'm going to add about one, one, one or half, half inches. One, one inches allowance. I'm going to add. Why? Because you know, I'm going to do a little bit of gather so it will accommodate it. So that's what I'm going to do. So with that, at the end of the day, I'm going to have my full measurement. If you notice, you notice that this first one that I'm going to, that I cut out, it's not as big as this second one. You see, this one is longer. And then the third one is bigger than the, all of them. If I'm going to do a fourth one, a fourth one is going to be longer. If I'm doing a fifth, it's going to be longer. So with that, when you have all of them like this, it helps by the time you finish joining all of them together, it gives you that beautiful bubble form or that tiered form. So that's the essence of making them. It's not good. You are not going to make all of them the same length. That's the length like this, that's the width like this, as in making all of them like this, the same, no, it will not work. So I hope you understand. So I'm trying to explain this so much before we continue. So this is just like the whole secret of making this tiered or bubble dress. Okay, so now let's get started. I'm going to fold my fabric. So the fabric that I have here is about three yards of fabric. It is a plain fabric. It's a little bit stretchy though. So that's what we're going to be making use of. Okay, so I folded my fabric. I'm going to cut the, the upper part first. I'm sorry, I'm going to cut the front first, then I'll cut the back. My fabric is folded into two. So I fold for this top one, I, I'm not going to be pleating anything, so it's just plain. So I'm going to use my bust size. I'll add a little bit of ease to it. So I'll come to this point like so. I'll measure my shoulder, which is seven inches. I'm just going to add one inch allowance. And then from this point, I'll measure my arm hole. So the next thing I'm going to measure my bust measurement. So for my bust is 36. So when you divide 36 into 4, I have 9 inches. So I'm going to add 2 inches to it for allowance. I don't want it to be tight. If you notice, it's not a really tight dress. So I'll mark it like this. And then the next thing I'm going to mark the length. So I, like I said, I'm using 30 inches. For my length that's for the length of the first one so 
So the next thing I'm going to mark, and I'm going to mark the under bust measurement. So what I have here, I'm just going to check. I have 11 inches here. I'm just going to reduce it by one inch here. I'll just put one here and then I'll mark. I'll just mark it down. So I'm going to cut out the foot. This is the top part now. So the back does not have a zipper. So I'm going to place this. I'll cut out the back. I'll use it to cut out the back also. And then I'll add inserts the neckline. So the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to insert the neckline. So it is a, it is not, it is, the neckline is a high neckline. So I'm just going to come to this point like this. I'll mark three inches width. So I'll mark three inches width. I'll come to this point like this. From this point, I'll use one inch for the back neckline. So this is my back neckline. And then for the front neckline, I'll take it down a little bit. So the front neckline, I'm going to do about two and a half or three inches. So it depends on what, how high you want it to be. I'll just mark it like this. So the fabric is stretchy. So I hope you can see it. So I'll cut out the back neckline first and then I'll insert my shoulder slope and then I'll add the front neckline So I'll still increase the front neckline a little bit by half of an inch. And then after that, I'm going to come to this point like this. I'm going to open up the front. So most times when I'm doing this, I like to measure it from the shoulder because sometimes you measure it from here and it might be to come too deep. So I'll just measure from here. So once I measure from here, I just know that okay I'm going to be adding the opening is going to get to about seven seven inch on my chest on my chest line so I'll do seven inch so after sewing it will come to about eight inches I'll just insert it like this so that's for that so now we're done with our front which is you can see what we have. So the next thing now we're going to cut out. The other one is just a walkover. So we're just cutting out straight fabric. So for the straight fabric, I, since I like I said, my fabric here is is three years. So the entire width of my three years. That's what I'm going to use for for the last layer. So I'm going to cut out the last layer first, which is the last layer, which is 14 inches. Okay, so you can see my fabric now. So I've cut them out. It's just straight. So I'm going to, so like this one, this is the down part. So I use the entire three yards. That's my entire, so you can see it is folded into the entire three yards of my fabric that I made use of. I just used the whole strap. And then this one is the second layer. This one is, so I have about 40 inches, this is 39, that's 39 and a half, about 40 inches here. That's when you add it together because it's, it's, it's folded into two, that's about 80. So you can see the full, you can see it's 39, 39 into two places. So that's 39 and a half, so that's why I just said 40 inches. Okay, so that's for that, and then this one is the top part. Now, this one is the one that will be here. So, so you understand. So, this one is this. This one will be here. So, I hope you can see it. And then, this I'm going to make tiny pleats. 
and then we'll stitch it here and then make tiny pleats on this one and then stitch it here that's just how simple the dress is so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to cut out facing so for the facing i'm going to use a different fabric i'm going to use a black fabric i just want to bring in another color into this so i think i'm going to use a satin a black satin i'll just use it to turn the neck line so i'll just go back to the machine now and go and do that and then i'll come back and show you okay so this is the facing that i want to use for the neckline so i want you to note what i'm doing i'm just going to be turning only this part that's this part that i open that's where i'm going to be turning this other part i'm going to use a piping that's like a black band to piping both the back and the front neckline on the right side so i will just place this here and then i will show from here like this and then turn it turn it inside so that's what i'm going to do and then i'll join the back and the front together on the shoulder line okay so you see you see the way it is looking now inside so now i'll join the back so you notice this is the only part that is turned i'll join the back together and then these are these are the my layers so you see i've added my my pleats that's my gathers i'm just going to go ahead and pull them together and then i'll come and back and show you how to fix how to join it together join what's it okay so i finish the neckline so the next thing i'm going to join join it on the side I'll join the side side because attaching the down part. Okay, so it's right. as you can see, I've stitched my dress. So you can see, so I because my dress does not have a zipper, so it does not have a zipper allowance. So I just left one side open because the the gathers I'm going to be adding it like this. So I left one side open so it will be easy for me to to stitch. So what I'm going to do now, take this first and layer. I'm going to fix it round as, as I'll fix it and then it's going to be having an opening here and then this one is the other one that's the longer one I'm going to take this one also so when I finish fixing that one this one also so as, I, as I'm fixing it I'm going to be pulling it a little bit open so you can see that the down part of this one is a little bit long so you just open it more just open it more as you stitch and then I'll fix it on the, this down one also. So you can see that it is looking like what we have on the picture already. I'll just go ahead and go and do that. So once I'm done, I'll just use one stitch to join it on the side to the down part. And then we're almost done with the dress. Okay, guys. So at the end of the day, you can see how our bubble tiered dress looks like. So for the neckline, like I said, I just used the black fabric to pipe in the neckline and then for the sleeve I added a basic sleeve so for the original sleeve that is on the picture that is on the top thumbnail I already have it that's shirt sleeve I already have it on my youtube channel so I'm going to drop the link in the description box my fabric was not enough so I could not make that sleeve so thank you so much if you find this video helpful please I would appreciate if you hit on the like button and if you have not subscribed please subscribe to stylish Niger youtube channel thank you so much you can drop your questions on the comment section. I will do well to reply all of them. I'll see you in my next video. God bless you. Ciao.